Why are parties so late? Like, why can't we party at 7 and be home by 12, bro? You mean like AM? Because 12 is pretty late too, you know? If you saw the way I squeezed every last bit of toothpaste out of the bottle, you'd think I was exactly $2.59 from complete financial ruin. No, you're just doing what you should. Reducing, reusing, and reset. No, that doesn't really work for this, does it? You're just getting what you paid for, okay? And that's okay. Okay? I don't know why I said okay so many times. I, I did it on purpose, I just don't know why. I was perusing an obscure government photo archive and they were caught. Dang it! Their operation almost went off without a hitch. And then the flashlight turned on. Haven't gone back to the gym since I kept using my phone and someone asked me if it's fingers day. <laughs> No, it's mind your own goddamn business day. How about that? How about that? You know what I'm saying? Leave me alone. Don't talk to me. Don't touch me. I will scream. My dad couldn't work out why all the cars behind him, on his way to get his rear light fixed, were pissing themselves laughing. Wait, what? Hold on. Oh, that's why. Your light is an animal. What was the celebration restaurant your family ate at when you were a child that you didn't realize was not, in fact, a five-star establishment until you became an adult? Ours was CeCe's Pizza. Oh, a pizza buffet. Ooh, yeah. Ours was, I want to say, Olive Garden. Yeah. Yeah, I used to think that place was pretty fancy as a kid, and then as an adult, you know, um, now if I ever go, I'm just going to eat the breadsticks. Yes, yeah, so I'll have five orders of breadsticks, please. Everyone else can have their crappy goopy lasagna, I'm going to have bread, because it's the only thing worth it. The suffix ussy is the 2022 American Dialect Society Word of the Year. Read the full press release here. Again, being in Finland, I've had such a good time with Finnish words ending in ussy, but without a Y, it's usually an I, right? Like, whenever a bus drives by, I get ecstatic. I'm sorry, it's fun. Do you guys remember those deer drop everything and read days in elementary school where you'd come in your pajamas and bring a pillow and all the tables would be pushed up against the walls and you'd really just read basically the entire school day? I want to host a party like that. Hey, uh, no. No, I don't remember that at all. Okay, so I think we need to have a little moment in the comments, all right? Uh, and when this video is released, come tweet at me about the drop everything and read bit in this video because I need to see what happens. I want to see how many of you had this at your schools in elementary school or primary school or wherever you are. I never had anything like this. It sounds fire as hell though. I think we've all had the Scholastic Book Fair, but this is important. I need to find out. So make sure to leave a comment down below on this video and come tweet at me that it's time. I want to see the results of this real bad. Be kind, rewind. The first look at Melissa Fumero and Randall Park in Netflix's upcoming blockbuster series. This is like Hannibal Lecter wearing the face of his victim. <laughs> yeah, that's a little weird. And it was cancelled immediately, to my knowledge. I think it got its first season, no one liked it, and ba-boom! Seen on a walk around the neighborhood. Ladies, what's your makeup routine? I'm looking for a new foundation, preferably liquid but still matte, and now that the men have stopped reading, we ride at midnight. Oh my god, no, 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 no. My child is desperately wiggling a loose tooth so she can force Santa and the Tooth Fairy to meet and fight. I bet that plan's gonna go off without any issue whatsoever. Although, while we're thinking about it, who do you think would win in a fight? Santa or the Tooth Fairy? I think most people would have Santa because of the bulk and the extra magic, I guess. But the Tooth Fairy might have an edge in... No, not speed either. Hold on. Now, hold on a minute here. I was leaving Kroger and this woman outside with her baby in a stroller was asking for money. I was about to give her some. This man yells out, don't give her ass no money, that baby ain't real. Then he runs over and kicks the stroller. I'll be damned, baby wasn't real. She yelled, damn you, Gary. Shout out to Gary. He the scam police. Oh my god, what if that guy was actually the crazy psycho and the baby was real? The story would have gone a significantly worse direction. You can't un-Scooby-Doo what's already been Scooby-Done. Yeah, like the fantastic live-action movies. Freddy Prince, I'm sorry that the industry treated you like I want you back, dude. You're awesome. Shaquille O'Neal has defended his appearance in ads for the collapsing cryptocurrency firm FTX, saying, I don't understand crypto. You know what? Let him off the hook. Yeah, he's making money. Just reading the script, dude. Who gives a crap? I'm sorry, who cares? Oh my god, I just realized that tall people would have been the height of a short person at some point of their lives, but short people will never be the height of a tall person. 
Yeah, they will. Every time they, I don't know, step on a stepping stool, a step ladder, stairs, escalator. My girlfriend's shorter than me, but if she's on the escalator stairs, one above me, she's right at my height, so she gets to experience what it's like. I think the dumbest thing about Twitter is how the screenshots of my tweets do better on other platforms than the tweets themselves. That does happen, well, well constantly. My one viral tweet that I had, my one crazy viral tweet, didn't get copied by anyone, and I gotta say, it kinda hurt. But to be fair, it was a video, but I was still expecting some people to download it and re-upload it somewhere else, so it kinda hurt. It wasn't stolen at all. Whoever filled out a cougar sighting report and wrote your mother under the description, drop your at, we just wanna talk. Oh no. How long has your mother been missing? Sir, you're a doctor. Yeah. So? Emo band lyrics. I'm crashing down, falling apart. You're not here, it still breaks my heart. Emo band song title. Maybe the jet ski investments weren't such a great idea. Like every The Cure song ever. Okay, not really. They're still strange, though. My son just turned to me and goes, You look like a minion! How do I come back from this? To be fair to your son, though, it looks like you purposefully dressed like a minion. Maybe you had no idea what you were doing, but it felt like you did. Okay, but how freaking tight was it rearranging your room when you were younger and it feeling like a different space? And you'd show your parents and they'd be like, wow, very nice. And then you'd be like, frick yes, new room, new me. I mean, I still do this into adulthood, dude. Every now and then you just gotta change it up. It's good for your mental health. I'm sure glad cockroaches are just nasty insects and not STDs. Oh, dude, please don't say things like that. Please don't do that. I'm tired of being the only one who cleans, pays all the bills, cooks every day, and does dishes in this house. I'm the backbone of this family. I live alone, but still. No, I got you. I got you. Edgar Allan Poe is one of my favorite authors because he perfectly portrays the five human emotions. Loss, grief, unrequited love, burying your enemy alive in a cellar, and being scared <laughs> by a bird. I don't know what it is about birds, but we all have to be secretly scared of them, right? Right? The clearest image of Jupiter ever taken. Very crisp image. I can practically see the institute where I studied how to be stupider. <laughs> oh yeah, those were great years. I hate how adult animation is just animation but uglier art style and we can say <laughs> now. Why do you think so many of us watch the shows that are meant for kids? Because the people that were writing them grew up feeling this exact same way like, take Alex Hirsch, for instance. While Gravity Falls, yeah, is a kid's show, it's really not. And I've been running into a lot of people lately that are obsessed with Bluey. It's the same thing that happened with My Little Pony. Okay, it's not the same thing that happened with that. That's That was a different deal entirely. But you know what I mean, right? I do hate that there has to be an adult animation. I guess that was one thing that was kind of off about, oh god, Inside Job. Maybe one thing, maybe the one thing that really bugged me about it was it did try a little too hard to be obviously adult, but still, it was fun, right? Roommate is blasting the Nutcracker on vinyl because he says the dance of the Sugar Plum Fairies is, and I quote, a straight freaking banger. What, you, you think they're wrong? Because they're not. Bro, just come skiing with me. Lift tickets cost $150 per day and you can rent skis for another $50. And you can get a lesson for another $120. It's so fun. And your risk of injury is so high. Come on, bro, you won't feel your hands and you'll get sunburn on your face, bro. This pepper is exceptionally evil. It's a hybrid of three super huts. I created it myself via cross-pollination. Bro got on welding gloves just to touch it. I'm not eating this sh Well. That seems to happen a lot, though, where there are some peppers you shouldn't touch with your skin, but they're technically safe for you to eat, I guess? I've discovered that Seinfeld fanfiction does, in fact, exist, and may actually be the best thing in the world. The next afternoon, Jerry was still thinking about the kiss. Then, Kramer walked in, eating a large watermelon. Hey, Jerry, Kramer said. Hey, Kramer, he paused. Ever kiss another man before? Well, sure, Kramer said. He then failed to elaborate. <laughs> Oh, man, I love it. Printed some chairs for the little pizza tables. I love that, as a society, we know their tables. I mean, we know what they're made for, but they're tables, okay? Read a tweet that simply said, Call your mom and tell her you love her. Thought I'd give it a go. Dad called me back ten minutes after I got off the phone and said, Mom's crying. She thinks you're dying and won't tell her. Thanks, Twitter. I feel like that's on you, not on the recommendation. Just saw a toddler walking around with a phone, FaceTiming another toddler. What the hell are you two even talking about? 
Oh god, they're absolutely not talking about anything of consequence, I can tell you that right now. Thinking about when I made a me of every person I knew in elementary school. And this kid came over for the first time to play Mario Kart and saw himself already on my TV. So we told everyone in our class and nobody talked to me for a week. Why would that be weird? How was that any more weird than what we actually did with Miis? Where we would go in there and make goofy pop culture characters, or really messed up ones. You know which ones I'm talking about. You all did it. Yeah, you did. Living right by the grocery store has turned me into a French woman just going to the village market to get what I need for tonight. <laughs> yeah, I do it so I have some source of entertainment back home. There are days where I get so bored, I'm gonna treat myself and go walk around Walmart because, you know, it's boring here. This should be illegal. Making the jump button anything but the top button should be illegal. This is the most disgusting tweet I've ever seen. The orange juice after toothpaste of tweets. Anything but the top button? What? Air Bud, but he's an air traffic controller. And it's just an hour and a half of planes horrifically crashing as he sits there cluelessly barking into the tower mic. Oh, come on. He would find his way eventually. Decided to stay in a Holiday Inn instead of an Airbnb for an overnight trip, and strongly feel one hour after check-in that there has never been a more luxurious experience in all of human history. You know, it is so weird. Going from Airbnbs the last few years back to hotels, where I'm saving crap tons of money, I don't have to do their goddamn chores for them while paying them hundreds of dollars for a cleaning fee anyway, and... I get to feel nice that I'm crumbling or helping to crumble an industry that shouldn't deserve to live in the first place. You know what I'm saying? It's it's great. Hotels are exactly what they should be. Airbnb is promoting a toxic culture where companies get to buy homes that should be for people to live in and people only, not corporations. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Have a great day. The internet is scary. Thank God all my personal photos are only of dogs and cats and food, and I'm only naked on TV. She was naked on TV? Uh, okay.